<laughs> Let's do that like, about four or five times. And there's a right, okay, thanks, and then they, they went off somewhere else. Then let's do a gig, I think. Let's do a gig. I remember doing a gig. I don't know, do you know I don't remember. Gigs? I thought that was the gig. I thought they were filming it. Obviously not. I don't know, I'm living in London, and the attitude down there is completely different. I mean, that's where the government is based in Britain. And it, the, wel the wealth there is it's unbelievable. I mean, like, people in Liverpool, there's, there's, and there's so much unemployment here at the moment, and they haven't, they haven't got a chance, really haven't. And it, people from Liverpool are actually moving to London mm. to mm. actually get work. It's yeah. ridiculous. Do you want me to tell you so a story why, about why we're, sorry, why we're called on angry young men's joke. Everybody's angry in Liverpool because they've yeah. got, they got no they've work. They've got nothing. They've got yeah. nothing at all. Absolutely no money, nothing. no nothing. Exactly. And Absolutely. the supplementary yeah. benefit that people are on, and it's the dowel they're on, it's a joke. It's Don't get it. Uh, we, we never really could describe it. We had let other people do that. And, um, I, I don't know. think it's something you can set up to no, do. No. I think it's something you just, we just went in and we did whatever we did. As long as it was fun, as you said before, yeah. and we always said when it wasn't fun anymore, we'd stop, and it's exactly what we did. Mm. Sort of. Ish, kind of. Well, it wasn't. It was at the end. It wasn't funny at all. It was hard graft and. It was like, pain in the ass. I think there's more despondency and less anger actually. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot more despondency and acceptance of the dole. When punk came out. There was, what, one million unemployed or something like that. Yeah. And everybody's like, oh, one million unemployed, we'll all be angry. You know, now, four million unemployed, everybody's used to it, everybody's despondent. It's a fact Everybody life. just wants to get a job. That's all they want, or they want to make a living somehow, you know? Oh, is that me prompt on the unemployed? Yeah, go for it. Oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> there's four million unemployed. Actually, there isn't. It. Well, it was the Thatcher era, wasn't it? I think that's the most important thing to say from my point of view. It's the Thatcher era. Apparently we didn't mention that. And now that. she's dead. Hurrah. Did hey, hey, and she, she had a bloody state funeral or something, didn't she? Who the bloody hell paid for that? Did we ask for her to have a state funeral? That was an insult, oh, yeah. didn't it? You, didn't oh, you want me to rant? Me. I'll rant about that. It was an insult to many people, Go especially on. people here in this city. <laughs> the era in America made you angry. Yeah, it bloody did make you angry. Yeah. It was 1980s, you had the miners' strikes and... Like a rude bit. And yeah, yeah I'll yeah, just go know. back into me rant now. Anyway, <laughs> we, we, had, we yeah. did not like Margaret Thatcher <laughs> at all. And most people in the North didn't. And that did influence the anger and the music and the, the constant battering which we've now got under the new law. The music industry is an industry. It's a it business. Is, yeah. To share it's that a, money, it's a money making money. machine, yeah. So, if you're going to have anyone that's coming up with radical... It's about whatever yeah, is happening. I, I can't really see them getting any yeah, play more than anything. Yeah, they're going to have to go underground. They have to just go the way, aren't they? I might be wrong. Yeah, too. Yeah. Um, most recent influences musically have been, um, well, going back a bit, um, uh, Julian Breen, especially his loop work. That, yeah, I've gone down a lot of the classical really, yeah, because, um, I don't know, well, I think we've accompanied myself in that. I just wanted to make, make myself a bit more technically, um, able, that's the word, technically able, so I've done that. As a, a very controlling person, I like to have everything just right, and um, so if the voice doesn't sound right as it's coming out, um, I get dissatisfied and um, a bit not depressed, I suppose. Why do I play? Keep the inner demons at bay. That's my main reason, really. And to entertain myself. Yeah, entertain myself. I do get a great lot of enjoyment. I have done. I always say that I won't, I'll stop playing a certain thing. Boring or you Keep know some of the music you do play has to be that way because you have to you have to be able to uh, learn the song inside out, take it apart, dissect it, and put it back together again with a piece of you in it. You've got to put you into it. And that's very in at the moment. You become the song, but you do need to know that song so well that you be able to do it. Then you can start putting your own life experience and emotion into that song. So that's what that's what I'm learning to do. Really, I've been learning to do all since I started. Really. Thank you, Grandma. Thank you, my dad. So. <laughs>